one day last week I asked if it would be okay if occasionally at the start of our daily candles we go on a little bit of a virtual world tour uh, and I show you a few photographs of our big year out travelling around Europe in our camper van. Some of you were nice enough to say yes that would be lovely so uh, I don't know if you were just being nice but ha <laughs> ha more fool you because it's gonna happen. I did promise that I'll only ever show you 28 out of the 28,000 photographs that we took over the year. So for today's selection of 28 photos, I'm going to confine myself to one 24 hour period. If you were to ask me what was the one day, now there was loads of fabulous days obviously during the year, but if there was one day that just uh, was the essence of how amazing it was to explore the world in the camper van, I would pick one day about a third of the way through the trip when we were up in the wilds of Norway, uh, going up through the fjords along the east coast of the Norwegian coastline. Now the day started all right. This was our view out the window when we woke up in the morning. We'd been camping at the base of a glacier and this amazing mint green colour you can see in the water, it's because it's a glacial melt water. Like many places in Norway, it was really hard to tear ourselves away, but we hit the road. We had heard about this uh, toll road that leads you up a little twisty mountain track to, it's called Dalsnibba, this mountain looking out over the fjords. And when we got to the top, Every screaming first gear hairpin was worth it. The view was of a glacier on one side and then the little twisty road that we had just travelled up was stretched out beneath us. And then on the other side we were looking down over the little fjordside village of Geringer at the bottom of another twisty mountain track. What really struck me there was that we could see one of those massive cruise ships. If you've ever been right up beside one of them, you'll know that they are the size of an apartment block. And yet in comparison to the fjords and the mountains and the majesty of all that was around them, they looked like little tiny dinky toys. So we spent a bit of time taking a few artsy moody photographs. If we ever make an album, we've got our cover shots sorted. And then we decided it was time for some lunch. Now you would say that ham sandwiches would be a hard lunch to mess up, but uh, when I opened the brown sauce, we had climbed so high, the pressure had built up just as if we were in an aeroplane and the sauce exploded everywhere. So very saucy sandwiches with a view. Couldn't ask for a finer lunch than that. In the afternoon we went to explore the little souvenir shop and we realised we weren't the only people that thought this would be the perfect place for an album cover or a music video. There was what we can only presume was a Norwegian trendy Scandi band recording their music video so we got to uh, explore the mountain top with this class cool Scandi cello background music. So as the day wore on, we decided we would try and be brave and stay in the van on the top of the mountain overnight. And so I think this goes down in history as the most awesome place that we've ever camped for the night. And just in case you missed it, have a little look at the photograph again. Can you see the motorhome gazing out over that valley? We definitely made sure the handbrake was tightly on that night. So we watched the sun set over the glacier. We're pretty sure we saw some hawks circling around and this we think might be a raven. And then as dusk fell and the evening started getting a bit chilly and blustery, all the other motorhomes which we thought would have been camping with us overnight, they all abandoned ship and went somewhere safer and warmer, left us in glorious isolation on the top of that beautiful mountain under starry skies. Lonely, a little bit scary, but absolutely spectacular, especially when we went for a starlit walk and saw a blood moon rising over the fjord. So that's 28 photos and that my friends in my humble opinion is what a perfect day looks like and so I hope you enjoyed sharing it with me. As we light our candles tonight let's just do it with that sense of gratitude. Places we've been, the sights that we've seen and that sense, that soul stirring sense that you get that you are looking at the fingerprints, the handiwork of God. And 
so we pray for light in a dark world, for hope in a fearful heart, for peace in a troubled soul. 